The easiest way to manage fear is just to not think about the negative outcome. If you have to run to a burning building to save a child, if you're going to sit there and think, what if I get trapped? What if I get set on fire? What if I die? You ain't got time for that. You just got to go. A lot of fear management is willful ignorance. I'm going to win. I'm going to be the best. Everyone's going to love me. I'm going to be rich. There's no chance I'm going to lose. So it ain't even a risk. That's much easier than sitting there and actually thinking, okay, this can fire back in my face big time. Life's not a spectator sport. If watching is all you're going to do, then you're going to watch your life go by without you. And a lot of things that we want to do, a lot of places we would like to go, a lot of things we would like to experience, and we just stop at but, and we build a case. In fact, I was reading something the other day that, that talked about but. It says but is an argument for our limitations. And when we argue for our limitations, we get to keep them. The only thing you do for success, there's no discounts. It's sweat, it's blood, it's tears. There is no discount. You can't get 50% off. It's sweat, it's blood, it's tears. There are no shortcuts to success. Stop thinking they are and stop wanting people to put you somewhere that you didn't earn. The human brain cannot comprehend the negative. It is incapable. You ready? Don't think of an elephant. Uh... <laughs> and so what happens is we very often reinforce things when we put things in the negative, right? I can't get apart. I can't get apart. I can't get apart. Or I can't do this versus I'm going to keep doing this. It's such a huge thing to convert things into the affirmative. You're supposed to do it with children as well. Instead of saying to children, don't eat on the couch, we're supposed to say, eat at the table. Pilots know this. It is well known in the pilot community that when you tell a pilot, don't hit the obstacle, they'll hit the obstacle. Because what they're doing is focusing on the obstacle. It's the same thing for you. If you focus on the obstacles, all you will see is obstacles. It's your choice how you choose to perceive your own career. It's literally perspective. Just be calm. When things go going well, be calm. Don't think you're on top of the world in the sense you always got to be wary because I've seen it. I've seen people come. I've seen people go. I've seen them come. I've seen them go. You got to be chill. Just take what's good in your life and move forward cautiously and carefully. And thank God that you have that. It's very, very important not to overextend yourself when you think you've got it. There's no such thing. Everybody's dispensable. I live for today and I don't I don't care what happened yesterday. I live in the moment because that's the only thing we have in our lives are moments, moments in time. And as soon as I've gone out that door, we can never reverse back and, and play it again because it's real life, it's not a dress rehearsal. So I don't really care what happens five minutes ago. I'm just gonna keep going today and living today and enjoying myself because I know what God gives, God can take away in the flash of a second. Mm -hmm. It can all be turned upside down and I've experienced it. Sometimes in life when everything's going great for you and you don't know good from bad, you need to experience a little rain sometimes so you can enjoy the sunshine again. And now I'm happy for the, the, the small things in life.